In this example procedure, you will add a FortiGate unit to an existing network without changing the configuration of the network. The network is connected to the internet using a router that performs an AT. Without replacing the existing router, the FortiGate unit will block access from the internet to the private network, but allow users on the private network to connect to the internet. The FortiGate unit also monitors application usage and finds and removes viruses. Installing the FortiGate unit in transparent mode behind the router will allow you to configure it to do all of these things. Connect a PC to the internal interface of the FortiGate unit. Open a browser and log into the FortiGate unit's web-based manager. If your FortiGate unit is new, the default address of the internal interface is 192.168.1.99. Be sure your PC is using an address on the same subnet. Go to the System Information panel of the dashboard and change the operating mode. Enter a management IP address and NetMask and the default gateway. Log in to the web base manager by browsing to the management address you specified. You will need to change the IP address of the PC to an address on the same subnet as the management address. Add primary and secondary DNS servers. Create a new security policy that allows users on the private network to access the Internet. Select UTM, enable antivirus and application control. Select OK to save the security policy. Power off the FortiGate unit. Connect the FortiGate unit between the network and the router. Connect the WAN1 interface to the router internal interface. Connect the internal network to the FortiGate internal interface. Now power on the FortiGate unit. You must add a security policy if the PCs on the internal network use DHCP to get IP addresses from the router or another device outside the internal network. The internal to WAN1 policy allows the DHCP request to get from the client to the server, but the response from the server is a new session, not a typical response to the originating request, so the FortiGate unit will not accept this new session unless you add a WAN1 to an internal policy with the service set to DHCP. From a PC on the internal network, open a web browser and browse to any internet website. You should be able to connect to the internet using HTTP or any other protocol or connection method.
Go to the security policy list and check the count column for the security policy you added to verify it is processing traffic. Go to the session monitor to view the sessions being processed by the FortiGate unit. The source address of most sessions should be an address on the internal network. The source NAT IP and source NAT port columns are blank because no NAT is taking place. The policy ID should usually be 1, which is typically the ID of the first security policy that you add. 